Now let's see this gate exam question. This is gate electronics 2010 question. Let's solve it. What this question is asking? See the question is saying for the output to be one, the logical circuit shown. This is the logic circuit that is given to you. Now the question is asking this output will be one. When this output will be one, the input combination should be. What the input combination should be? Okay. So let's see here what the input combination should be. Now you can easily notice one thing. Tell me one thing. See, can you notice these two inputs? They are complement of each other. Yes or no? See, very simple way to solve this question. Let's solve this question. A very simple way I am telling you. Can you notice if I call it X, can I call it X complement? Tell me. See, if I call it, let's call it X. Can I call it X complement? Yes or no? They are complement of each other. Agree with me? Please tell me. Please tell me. Okay, what is this X? Whatever. See, this X, this X is basically XOR. This X is basically XOR. But you can see this will be X, X complement, X bar. Okay. Now, what is this F? Can anyone tell me what will be F? What will be the equation for F? What will be F? Let me know. See, this F, this is your three input nor X nor gate. This is your X nor three gate. This is your X nor three gate. Three input X nor gate. This is your XNOR3 gate. So you tell me a simple point I'm asking. If you have XNOR3 gate, if you have this XNOR3 gate, three input variables are there. Okay, three input variables. One is X, another is X bar, another is C. So tell me what F will be equal to. Which is the correct equation? Can I say, can I say F will be equal to XNOR? Is this correct? Is this correct? Or is this correct? Which of them is correct? Tell me which of them is correct. Remember, this is not correct. This is correct. Okay. Is this clear? See, very simple point. Okay. This is a point. This, this is an important point. You can see that if you have XNOR gate, this XNOR gate is always defined as complement of XOR gate. Okay. So if you have this XNOR gate, A, B, C, remember this Y, this Y. Okay, this y, this is not equal to a x nor b x nor c. Okay, this y is actually equal to first you do xor and then you do complement and then you do complement. Okay, very simple point. This we have already seen. So now you can see finally here what f will be equal to. You can easily see f will be equal to what f will be equal to x xor x complement xor c whole complement. Okay. Now you tell me a simple point. What this X XOR X bar, what that will become X XOR X bar, what that will become? Please tell me what that will become X XOR X bar X XOR X bar that will become always one. Yes or no. That will be one very simple because XOR you already know this point. We already know that a XOR B is equal to one. If and only if they are different. If and only if they are different. Okay, yes or no? A XOR B is equal to 1 if and only if A is not equal to B. So if I do this X XOR X bar, that will be always equal to 1. So what I can say? It will be 1 XOR C complement. Now tell me what is 1 XOR C? Tell me what is 1 XOR C? Let me know. What should I write here? What should I write here? See, very simple. If C is 0, what will be final result? If C is 0, if C is 0, what will be final result? See, this 1 is fixed. If C is 0, then the final result will be 1. If C is 1, then the final result will be 0. Yes or no? So, can you notice? Can you notice? Whatever C is, we are writing the complement of that. So, remember, this will be C bar. Okay, this will be C bar. So, finally, what I can say? I can say this will be C bar whole bar. That will be same as C. So, remember, your F is equal to C. Yes or no? Your F that is equal to C. That's it. So F will be one when C will be one. Agree? Yes or no? F will be one when C will be one. That's it. So very simple. F is one. F is equal to C. That's it. This is the point. F is equal to C. F is equal to C. What that means? That means F one if and only if C one. F will be one if and only if C will be one. Okay. Is this clear? Let me know. F will be one if and only if C will be one. So what will be the answer? These are the options. F will be one 
if and only if C will be one. So the answer will be option D. Is this clear? Okay, very simple. F will be C. That's it. This is the point. F will be C. I hope this point is clear to everyone. Is this clear? Let me know. So the answer will be option D. This will be the answer. Now in this question, let me tell you what are the misconceptions. What are the misconceptions in this question? See in this question, the misconception will happen when? When the misconception will happen, please tell me what is the misconception? See very simple. You can notice they are complement. If this is X, can I say this will be X bar? Please tell me if this is X, if this line is X here, if this is X, then this will be X bar. Okay. And this is your C. See the misconception will happen. If you write this F is equal to X nor of these three. Okay. If you write like this X, X nor X bar, X nor C. If you write like this, this will be wrong. Remember, if you write like this, this will be wrong. This will be wrong. Why this is wrong? Tell me why this is wrong. If you write like this, this will be wrong. Why this is wrong? Because I told you this XNOR, this XNOR gate, this XNOR gate, this is defined as complement of XOR gate. Okay, remember this point. Always this XNOR gate, remember this Y is not equal to, this Y is not equal to A XNOR, B XNOR, C. This Y is actually equal to a XOR B XOR C complement. Okay. This is actually equal to A XOR B XOR C complement. I hope this point is clear. Okay. So remember this point. Always, always this XNOR gate, this XNOR gate is not of XOR gate, is not of XOR gate. Okay. So first you find XOR and then you do the not, is not of XOR gate. Is this clear? Okay, very simple point. So remember this point. We know that if you have three input variables, okay, please understand. Please understand the difference. If you have three input variables, then these two will be same. A XOR B XOR C. This is same as A XOR B XOR C. Yes or no? This will be same. This we know. Okay, but this will. Okay, remember this is correct. This is always correct. This is always correct. But the point is, this XOR. This is always defined as complement of XOR. This is the point. This XNOR, this XNOR gate, this is your XNOR gate. This is your XNOR gate. Remember this XNOR gate, this is defined as complement of XOR. First you do XOR, then you do complement. This is how it is defined. Okay, so very simple point. So remember in this question, the mistake, some students will make this mistake. If you do this, your answer will be wrong. Tell me, tell me, if you do this, then what your F will be? See, if you do this, first of all, you tell me what this will be. Tell me what is X, X nor X bar, what that will be? That will be zero. That will be zero, right? Yes or no? X, X nor X bar, that will be zero. We already know this, that A, X nor B is equal to one. If and only if both are same. Okay, we already know this. A X nor B is equal to one. If and only if both are same. Okay. So here, what will happen? If you, if you look at this, what you will get, please tell me, if you look at this, what you will get, you will get zero, zero X nor C. What is zero X nor C? Please tell me what is zero X nor C. What should I write here? What should I write here? Very simple. See, if C is zero, I will write one. If C is one, I will write zero. Yes or no. So finally, I am writing C complement. You can notice whatever C is, I am writing its complement. So remember, this will be equal to C complement. So what you got? You got F equal to F complement, F equal to C complement. If you do like this, if you do like this, if you do like this, which is wrong, which is wrong. But if you do like this, then F will be equal to C complement. Now, now tell me which options will be correct. Which options will be correct? Tell me now which options will be correct. F equal to C complement. Now F will be one if C is zero. Okay. Now tell me which option will be correct. If you do this, then option A, B, C will be correct. Now option A, B, C. Now option A, B, C will, will be correct. Is this clear? Please tell me. Now option A, B, C will be correct because F will be one if and only if C will be zero. Okay. F will be one if and only if C will be zero. 
and that means option a b c so is this clear to everyone that if you do like this this will be wrong this will be wrong okay so please understand please understand in this question in this question please understand that if you do like this that will be wrong okay i hope all these points are clear so remember this f this f is not equal to please understand this f is not equal to x x nor x bar x nor c what this f is equal to please tell me what this f is equal to this f is equal to first you take xor then you take complement first you take xor then you take complement then you take complement this is correct okay so if you solve it you will get answer is option d this is your gate electronics 2010 question let me tell you this question will become very interesting if this is msq if this is msq many students will do like this and they will get wrong answer just think about it if this question is msq if this question is msq then many students will do like this and they will get wrong answer but the correct answer is actually option d okay just think about it is this clear this important point i wanted to uh, discuss with you is this clear please tell me just remember this point okay just remember this point if you have this xnor gate if you have this xnor gate and your inputs are total let's assume total n inputs you have this n can be even or odd a1 a2 an then what you will write this y what you will write please tell me this y how will you write this y remember this n can be even or odd this n can be even or odd this n can be even or this n can be odd okay remember so what you will write this y remember this y you will write as first to do xor first to do xor and then you complement then you complement okay don't write like this don't write do not write like this do not write like this is this clear do not write like this is this clear please tell me okay so simple point but tell me if n is even if n is even if n is even if n is even in this situation of course see this is again this is correct see you can always write like this you can always write like this this will never be wrong this is always correct but if n is even you know that if n is even if n is even you know that if n is even then the complement of xor will be xnor yes or no if n is even then the complement of xor will be xnor okay if you do if you do this xnor complement see uh, sorry xor complement that will be xnor that will be xnor so if you if n is even then you can write it like this yes or no agree now both are correct now both are correct this is also correct this is also correct is this clear please tell me if n is even if n is even okay is this clear please tell me let me know is this point clear if n is even okay what about if n is odd what about if n is odd let me know if n is odd see if n is odd then xor xnor they are same yes or no if n is odd if n is odd then xor xnor they will be same they will be same they will be same correct yes or no these two these two they will be same if n is odd then they will be same okay in this situation remember in this situation this is not correct if n is odd then in this situation remember this is not correct this is not correct okay so what you have to write you have to write xor complement okay so remember in this situation this is not correct is this clear please tell me understood now is this point clear okay so this is the safe side see n is odd or n is even you can always do this you can always do this okay just do the complement of xor so that's it mm -hmm.